Now with my scanner settings set up, I'll go ahead and load the pages I want to scan into my scanner, and then click on the Scan New Document button on the top left. As soon as I click on that, the pages will start passing through my scanner. And at the end of the scan, I'll be presented with this message if I'd like to scan any additional pages. If I had a document that was, say, 100 pages long, my scanner doesn't support putting 100 pages in the feeder all at once. I could fit maybe 20 at most. So at this point, I could go ahead and load pages 21 through 40, and then click Yes to continue scanning those additional pages. Otherwise, I see I've got all six pages here in the thumbnails. I also see at the bottom left, I'm on page 6 of 6. So since all my pages have been scanned, I'll go ahead and click No. There's no additional pages. Now I can navigate through these pages here. I can change their width to make some of the text more readable. But what I'll do next is I'll focus on the left-hand side here and click on the index information to fill in. For index fields with drop-down values, such as document type, plan type, and company, I can use the mouse and go through the drop-downs and actually click on a particular piece of information. Or, as I type in a value to use, you'll see how it tries to autocomplete to the closest match that's inside the list. However, you're not limited to just the values that are in the list. You can still go ahead and put in any kind of value that you want to for those index fields. So plan type, same thing. I could pick a value from the plan type list. Or as I type, it'll try to autocomplete to the closest match. If I hit the tab key on the keyboard, that'll actually take me from the plan type field down to the company field, where I can continue typing in a company name. Hit tab again to go to the next field. Same with rep ID. So the drop-down values help maintain a consistency of the value that you're using, using application versus app or APPL. All the time it's going to say application. Plus it helps speed things up so that all you have to do is type in a few letters to get the entire word application. Description, it's kind of a notes field, anything you want to put inside there that's uh, more specific. Then the document date. So this would be the actual date on the document itself. So if I'm scanning something from last year, I'll go ahead and put that date inside there. Once all the index information is filled out, you'll notice on the toolbar there's an option to either upload the document or to remove it from pending. That will delete the document and allow you to scan a new document or rescan this one. Since the pages are all good, they all look good, I have all my index information filled out. I'll go ahead and click on Upload Document, and that will actually send the document up to Silo and allow me now to go ahead and load pages for a new document and click Scan New Document to continue scanning. 